Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We are at bus stop 18244, an extremely just okay, no, not stupid, but a 481 bus stop in Queens Rock or Clarkson. I'm so so angry right now. Like this is the angriest you're ever gonna see me in a video. Ready? I'm gonna go into this bush and I'm gonna freaking scream sunglasses. <laughs> Sorry, the camera cut out, but <laughs> I'm so angry. Let me tell you the news. So, so Sorry, sorry, I just had that burst of anger. Let me tell you the news. I'm in Clarkson, right? Today is Friday, and you know what I do on Fridays? I go on the train, and I take it to the city after school, and I film something. But the one day that I didn't do that on, I had a stupid orthodontist appointment in here, in, um, in Clarkson, for my braces. Now I come all the way up here to Clarkson, Wait, instead of going to Perth like usual, go in and I'm like, okay, fine, whatever, maybe I like, just get my braces stuff done. But then, on my phone, I hear that Asheville train station caught on fire and trains are cancelled and there's massive disruptions. Oh, bus is coming now. I'll tell you more at Clarkson. I just arrived at Clarkson Station. I'm so angry. As I said before, there's a fire at Asheville, which is just insane. One of the craziest things to happen on Trans Perth in the last few years, honestly. We had A Series on Platform 3 and the fire on the uh, IDV train, but fire at a train station. No, and that's when I miss it. And now, did I tell you? I don't even think I did. The stupid orthodontist I was at. So I'm not gonna say anyone by name or anything, but the place I was at, oh my God, I came there because of a breakage in my braces and today was the only available time. I was like, okay, whatever, I'll screw up my Friday evening, whatever. I went there, they spent 25 minutes working on, like to fix stuff and then at the end it broke again and she's like, oh, sorry, I couldn't fix it. Come back on Wednesday, which is a school day, waste my time when I'm meant to be studying to fix it again and also wasted my whole Friday because I wasn't able to be in the city and nothing even happened. I'm so angry right now. And I just missed the train at Clarkson so now I have to wait another 10 minutes and then another 32 minutes on the train before I get to Perth, which is already gonna be 5.45 p.m. No more, 5.50 p.m. And this event started at 4 p.m. Two hours later, just because of this stupid dentist which broke everything and Oh, I'm so angry, I'm so angry. Sorry, I'm probably gonna be cringing when I look back at this video and when editing, but but I'm just so angry. Anyway, if anyone else, yeah, just go and look at Asheville Station, it's burning. I made a community post about it so other people see it, because this video will be posted later on, but I'm so angry. Oh, we're just waiting for the train now. Train has arrived after waiting. Also, I had to go to the toilet in between while I was waiting. And then I went out and then realized there's no hand sanitizer at this station, even though like all other transport stations have it. So now I touch this disgusting door, which was full of crap, to be honest. Full of, you know what I want to say. And now I have to have that on my hand until I find some sanitizer. I arrived in Perth. Apparently the fire has been put out while I was on the Juno line train. And, however, there's still crazy delays. The next Midland train is in 50 minutes, 50. And um, they're running like replacement buses using non-transfer buses, Horizons West, all that stuff. See there's a train driver out here just sitting because his service has got cancelled. Let's go inside. Arrived on the platform, it just says Midland Line, Airport Line, Fremantle Line, train services are delayed and that's it, are now running with delays. However, um, on the outside it said the next train is in 50 minutes, so I don't know how true that is, but it might take a while. What I really want to see is if there's any cool replacement buses still running because the platform looks very busy 
They've probably been waiting a while. Or imagine they sent the A-series down the Upper Line Tunnel. <laughs> no, but... Actually, I think there's some lights in the tunnel. Hang on, we'll see. I'm just so... Uh, you saw my rage at the start of the video. I'm so angry I wasn't here on time. I missed the cancellation and closure between East Perth and Bassendine and High Wycombe. So, but I still got here for the aftermath. Yeah, there's definitely a train in the tunnel. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, we're gonna see what's going on now. I'm gonna head over to Ashfield, although apparently there's some very angry security guard there. A-series or B-series? A-series. Which doesn't let you film, so yeah. So I don't know if they're heading to High Wycombe. They'll probably resort all resources to Midland like they usually do during disruptions. So it's probably still close over to High Wycombe. We might see some more some more train placement buses, weird ones. Here it is, A-series set 30. Probably gonna go to Midland. I mean, probably. If it goes to High Wycombe, that's the biggest event in history. So yeah, Midland. And 14. Here they are. Pretty full as well, coming from the Fremantle line. Airport line is on platform 9 apparently, while Midland line is on platform 8. We're gonna get on, see if anything's happening, if I can spot any replacement buses on the road outside. Sorry, I'm talking so fast, but yeah, we're gonna. That was in 15 minutes. We'll get on and see what we can see, especially at the burnt, burnt Ashfield station. Now arriving in Bayswater. I'm <laughs> sorry, I said that in Adelaide announcements. Well, I didn't mean to, but now arriving at Bayswater. Change here for airport line services. Okay, okay, sorry. That's a sneak peek of upcoming videos. Anyway, you can see the new uh, the tracks for new Bayswater station. Wow, they've actually been put up quite a bit now. Um, we actually spent 10 minutes stalling at Claysbrook earlier. Mm, but now I finally got the base order. Next stop will be Ashfield and then we'll check it out. Looking good with the new tracks. This Ooh. is Bayswater. Change here for the airport line services. Change here for the airport line services. Mm. They've actually done quite a bit on the new base order station in the last week. They've put up the lift shafts and escalator shafts. You can see. Yeah, so that's cool. Should open on the 24th of April if all goes well. Next stop is finally Ashfield. I can't believe the trains are still stopping there, even though there's a fire there a few, like an hour or two ago. I don't know when the next airport line train is. Probably not for a while, to be honest. It seems we took the B series off shift. We'll go check it out now. Mmm. I really thought they'd be skipping Ashfield for today and even the weekend and it'll be closed for a while but it seems like it's fine. Oh crap, the wind. Even though the bridge was burning, I'm not sure how that's safe to go on it. Airport line track breakaway right there. I'm so angry that I missed 80% of this disruption but I know I've said that like 10 times now. Just, I guess I just forget it. I'm, I'm just so annoyed. We'll go back to Bayswater later and see if there's any airport line trains running. I really wish I could have seen the Horizons West train replacement buses. That would have been so cool. And the termination at East Perth and Bassendean. And I guess that also means the airport line tunnel was closed, but they forget to say that now since it opened. It should say closed between East Perth, Bassendean and High Wycombe. Although they could run bi-directionally and store extra trains at the High Wycombe siding. I don't know why they don't do that. They did, they did do it once though, last time during the um, IDV fire thing. 
infrastructure di diagnostics vehicle. Look at that bus in that backyard, I mean front yard. Anyway, we're getting us now, approaching Ashfield, finally. Took me so long to get here. Well, let's see. Nope, I haven't noticed anything. Seems like nothing even happens. Go take a look. What the hell? It looks like nothing even happened here. What do you mean fire? There was no freaking fire here. Here's another train, set 9. Heading to Perth. And set 14 and 30 over there. We'll watch a train depart if it will. This is a cool shot. I haven't been to Asheville since my second station video. Which is so old. Oh, is this, is this a screen? No, that's not a screen display. We don't have screen display here. Ready for this cool shot. Both trains departing at the exact same second. Oh, that's a good one. Well, unfortunately, well not unfortunately, I'm grateful the station didn't collapse, but Ashfield is not an Ashfield today. <laughs> okay, sorry, that joke is, sorry. Someone on my Discord said that joke and I was just like, oh my god, every time I said the word Ashfield I thought of a fire and now it was actually true. But yeah, Ashfield is not an Ashfield today. What the hell, was the fire even at the station? I don't see any evidence of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up and see if anything. Even, I, there was no fire here. What are these lies? Even though it was on the emergency WA website as well. Maybe it was, was it over there under that tree? I have no idea. Anyway, let's go up. Well, here it is. Three lines delayed because of just this, this crap. What is this? A wooden plank with two cones screwed into it, and apparently this caused a delay of three train lines for two hours. With no trains between East Perth and Bassendine, Horizons West buses out for this. What? I was expecting literally the whole bridge to be burning down. The way they described it, people on Discord and um, was there anything else? I am on the emergency WA website. It's like, oh, fire, Ashfield Station, and like fire engines and stuff. Literally two cones. We're gonna take a look at it from underneath. There's like nothing here. What is this joke? This feels like it's some idiot playing a prank, huh? There were actually fire engines and security guards here for some, I mean, I, okay, okay. I guess it would be weird if you were up there and you're just like, oh damn, this little section of bridge is burning. But that doesn't mean that there's a whole massive fire. Oh, also, what I wanted to check since last time with the car park, yeah, see, it is free, because I was confused. It doesn't say anywhere on the website that this car park's free. They don't want to advertise that. But it does say on here, currently there is no charge to use this car park. And the reason for that is because if you usually parked at Bayswater Station, since they removed the car parking, you now have to come down here to the extra base they put in to park. But this is in zone two, so then you have to pay double fares just because of that. So that's why they made it free. So you save on the parking and then it's basically undone. Take a look up there. You can see the burnt wood underneath. And that's basically all that happened. There's some charred black wood. Look. Wait, hang on. There we go. See that? Top goes to report every incident that ever occurs on the transport network, even when it's some charred wood on a bridge. I feel like that probably already existed before. The fire was really, maybe not, but the fire was really only in this central area, this black spot here. So literally nothing. Most pointless disruption ever. I haven't seen anything more stupid. Oh wow, there's a massive spider web up to the electrical wires from that tree there. Anyway, that's about it. Train placement bus up. I'm gonna head back up on the bridge and just spot another train. Basically I can make an Ashfield update video now since I didn't do that. So let's do that just as a joke. This 
is Ashfield Station. Ashfield Station opened sometime, I actually don't know when, I'll put it on the screen or check the Wikipedia page. But it's just a tiny station serving only Midland Line routes, I mean only the Midland Line trains. And the only cool feature is a free car park. Anyway, it is accessed by one pedestrian footbridge which leads across the station to both sides onto Guildford Road on the southern side and pretty much not what is this railway road on the northern side the station has dual gauge tracks because of regional trains running down the entirety of the Midland line on the 10th of February 2023 an extremely small fire broke out on the footbridge which resulted in these cones being put here yes 10th of February is the filming date and the line being closed from East Perth to Bassendine as well as over to High Wycombe for a period of two hours with train and placement buses running including Horizons West coaches. Now we walk down the rather steep gradient in the middle of the station which is why this station is non-accessible and you come down to two open station smart rider processors. After that there is a hut and a tree and the hut has ticket machines, information points and emergency point. There's also a bin here and by a few bike rails at the end of the platform underneath the ramp. And now this video is already basically as long as the original Ashfield Station video, so <laughs> I made an update video out of nothing. Now we're just gonna walk back up here, even though practically nothing's changed at this station. While a lot of the other stations have changed, this one hasn't changed much, not even new screen display since the airport line opening. So even though it's only my second station video, there's literally no changes here. Now you can see that little bit of burnt wood under there, you can get a better view of it here. You can see how it cracked down. Yep, that was a little fire right there. Nothing much on this side, but there's still this stupid wood here. I don't know why I don't replace it for something more sturdy. But really, that's about it. We're going to watch this train arrive into the station now. There it is. That's set once I see it. Yeah, there's some people running for the train, but that's set 36 on the front, two cars, and I'll tell you the rear once it departs. So yeah, this is a train clips from my new Asheville station video. We originally saw B series at this station in the original video, which is also the thumbnail. Very rare to see that now with the airport line opening. Trains are currently running every 20 to 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure, because of this disruption still causing these massive delays. It's also the closest station to the Bassendine Railway Museum, actually, just over there, which is a cool place as well. I made a video on that before. Nearby, in between the major stations of Bayswater and Bassendine. Anyway, off goes the train, set 20 on the rear. to the city in the background and that'll be about it for this video we're just gonna head over to this side of the station there has only been one other occasion when I have been here on video and that was on the 1000 subscriber special visiting all the stations in one day I passed through here to get to the 55 bus stop down there make sure you watch that as well I've been here other times as well but some of the videos I've been in it haven't been posted Anyway, this is good for a road right here, and you can cross across here. There's a curved pedestrian ramp staggered to get you down, and that's it. There's nothing else to see at Ashfield. So that's it. There's the train station. Thanks for watching. It's the end of the video, and I mean, actually, I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Do, 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 do. I don't even know what the music's like, but. Do, 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 do. End of the video. Okay, okay. And we're back in normal vlog mode. That was the end of the. <laughs> station video thing now we're gonna head back over to the airport line and see any more delays there on the next press button train which might actually take a while
But yeah, let's go. Mm, it's been a 10 minute wait, still no press button train. It's probably gonna be the same one I arrived on, to be honest. Let's see if the... No, wait, what would the information thing say? I don't even know. There's the Qatar A380 landing in at Perth Airport. You can probably get a good view from the side here, maybe, unless it's behind the trees. Mm, maybe not. Sorry, plane enthusiasts. I got a trash shot. I mean, I saw the plane, but couldn't get a shot of it, so... Yeah, whatever. And another Midland line bound, Midland bound train. Um, wait, is this only the first one after I arrived? Yeah, actually, it is. It's the first Midland bound train after I arrived, which has now been like, what, 20 minutes? So that's how long it took for the next one. It's probably quite full, again. I don't know what's happening with the airport line. Are they even running trains on it? Or is that completely cancelled? I'll go check it out right now. I'll get back on the train and head back. And there's people running for it again. Every time a train arrives, people run for it. Set 31. And 20, oh, 29. Platform 3A series. The pantograph has been fixed, apparently, already. I mean, yeah, I saw videos of it running just a few days, or the next day, actually, after the event occurred. They fixed it pretty fast. But yeah, this was the train stuck on the platform 3. You can see it here now. And wow, it's like the most people you'll ever get using Ashfield Station. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven at once when it gets only 160 a day or something. So, yeah, off it goes again. Still no Perth Bound train, it's definitely just gonna be the same one I arrived on. There's only two trains between Ashfield and Midland right now. This one and the one I, I was on before. Mmm, just dashes on here, but it might say something. No trains are oh. scheduled to stop at this platform. Oh, that's great. Never hear that announcement in the daytime. This platform is presently not in use. <laughs> this is like funny announcement generator now, because every time you press it, it's something else. This platform is presently not in use. No trains are scheduled to oh, stop maybe not. here. Oh, yeah, see, it's different. No trains are scheduled to stop at this platform. No trains are scheduled to stop here. This platform is currently not in use. No trains are scheduled to stop at this platform. Yeah, like three different things. <laughs> okay, finally, about 25 minutes later, there is now a train coming. This is probably the one I arrived with. Which, which one was that? Set 31? No. Actually, I forgot. I wasn't paying attention. I was too focused on Discord. Let's head back to base order. See the airport line. Yeah, because I was checking on Discord what's happening. This is set 14 over here. Was I on 14? I can't remember. Maybe. Oh, the lights just turned on. Anyway. Let's go back. I need to see any more delays. I'm. S yeah, I missed the majority of the event. 14 and 30. Yeah, yeah. I think this is the one I was on. I'm gonna get on now. Right, see you. See you. And here goes the train departing Bayswater after those disruptions. Now, since we're here now, I'm actually going to insert another clip because I don't think it's worth its own video. And this other clip is going to... Oh, hang on. Oh. I was going to say, the other clip is going to be a new... Uh, base order update video which I will still insert I filmed it last week but now they reopened it again the pedestrian race has been reopened yet again and don't know why that's weird ah well it's opened again it's been locked off here though but yeah 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 <laughs> just because it's not worth putting in its own video especially when it's already outdated I'm gonna insert a stupid clip I made last week here at Bayswater when I was told this was permanently shut but it's open again now just with this weird entrance and sign put up here oh fuck no
station, Bayswater. Then all stations to High Wigan, including Airport Central. Change of Bayswater for Midland line services. Well, there goes set 103 on the airport line to High Wycombe, and look at that. During my holiday in uh, Adelaide, the pedestrian maze here has closed at Bayswater. It's still opening and closing there, but you can't go in anymore. It's closed off and there's full of dirt on that side. I'm getting ready for the new Bayswater station to open after the Midland Line shut down from the 31st of. Mm, sorry, March to 23rd of April. Yes. And also, what the hell? I know it looked completely normal to you, and it looked completely normal to me for for years. But now, looking at these tracks, what? What? It looks so so narrow. It's crazy. I can't. I never realized how narrow the transport tracks are. Like what? Sorry, I know this seems completely arbitrary to everyone watching because I've filmed transport for years and never said anything about it because it looked completely normal. But after visiting Adelaide, which has broad gauge tracks, broad gauge, so even wider than the second bit of the dual gauge there. And getting used to that, this just looks crazy. It looks like some model railway, not some freaking transport public trains. Like, what? It's the narrowest track I've ever seen in the world. <laughs> nah, I mean, it is called narrow gauge, but it just looks crazy. So, what they've done here, the entire car park here has been closed off on the... Uh, what is this? Northern side? from the 1st of February, which was two days ago, and the pedestrian maze, meaning that now Bayswater has no car parking whatsoever, which is why you have to go to Ashfield or Melvin, where a few years ago they built extra, built extra spaces, and Ashfield has free car parking, so you can go there without paying a two-tone fare before going there. But it's just crazy that such a major station like Bayswater now doesn't have car parking, even though Definitely doesn't look major with this with this pot and someone parked the bike there. But it will be much more major once that's put in. Opening two platforms on the 24th of April, which is sadly a Monday, but yeah, I'll come and look at it in the afternoon in the afternoon unless there's some big opening ceremony, but highly unlikely. Um, but even then it still won't have a car park. This will just become a road around it and it'll it'll be more like a transit oriented development not a car oriented one and there's not much more to say just a quick update on Bayswater station the next time we'll come here with a video will be when uh, like the last few days before it closes so that's at the end of March and not too long away now actually less than two months we'll come here and do one final train spotting at the old Bayswater station video because yeah this has existed for years so that'll be that but that's five minutes now already of me talking there's not much more to say so that's it bye
set one. Well, after watching the quick clip about the closed pedestrian maze, there goes set 28. I said I wouldn't be back here until the line was when um, the station was closing, but I did come back, set 1 and 28 departing, back to film this stuff, this disruption again. So now this video is 20 minutes long again, which is my greatest skill. Yeah, my greatest skill is really making videos longer than they need to be. This is closed off, there's sand on the other side and the pedestrian underpass only goes to one side. So... Yeah, that's about everything you can see. Oh, is that a train replacement bus? I'm actually wondering. Save the quads. Nah, highly unlikely. We're gonna try to get on a airport line bound train now. Yeah, like tunnel bound. And see what's going on with that. Well, these pedestrian gates here are still closed, even though they're permanently fenced off. But they do. Sorry, sorry, I know the video is so long. Here's an airport line train, finally. Haven't seen a beast series for a while now, out here. Set 97, obviously, because airport line never has good trains, good seats. Pretty noisy. Nice. And now this random thing's opening, even though there's a black gate right in front of it. Okay, I should really stop this video now. What we're actually going to do is a proper final train spotting at Bayswater video before it closes. That'll be in less than two months' time. So, we'll just watch this train leave now. And actually, this is the last video I'm going to make at age 15. Yes, it's actually my birthday on the weekend. Oh, there's some someone arguing with transit officers, but yeah, it's my birthday on the weekend. So, I'll be turning 16. Which means I can go alone on TransWA now. So actually, I tried booking the Australian train, but it didn't let me book the return service. Maybe it's sold out, but I'm pretty angry. I'm going to call tomorrow and see what's up with that. I really wanted to go on the Australian on my birthday, the first day I'm allowed to go alone. And also, I can start driving. Anyway, this is the end of this video. I'm just going to go on the airport line. There's nothing much else to see except for delays. And unless they see something actually crazy, then I'll film it. But otherwise, this is really the end. Just heading to the airport line now. If you want to see Airport Line Trip at night, go watch that video which I also made in the corner now, up or there, whichever way it puts it. Ow! Oh, the gates at Bayswater always electrify me. Yeah. Bye. A wonderful sight. Airport Line Train finally arriving after about 20 minutes at least before the previous one came. Yes, it's got good seats as well, set 89. And my evening is made. Look at that. With the sunset in the background. Beautiful shot right there. Yeah, 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 I really have to end the video now. Bye, bye, bye.